Howdy everybody. We're back and uh, I'm setting this shot up so you can see the oil quench. Uh, I'm not sure if I can show you. The, maybe you can see that. We're at 145 on the temp. And that can get chill out, I don't care. Uh, there's a pump in the in the oil, circulating that oil, and it's Parks 50. We've been soaking for, well, there's eight, eight minutes left, so 22 minutes at 1475. It fluctuates between 1472 and 1477. You can hear it kicking on the SSR doing that. And, uh, yeah, this is 01 tool steel, three knives. Let's see what happens. Should have opened the damn garage door, but anyway. So, oh, that's cool looking. Now, I'm not moving this around because, again, there's a pump in there. And I've got this blade pointed right at the jet of the pump, so it will move the oil past the blade while it's quenching. Yeah, and I'm not squeezing very hard on these uh, pumps. Oh uh, shit, well normally I, I fire up the uh, toaster oven to uh, heat the oil up. Grabbing a rag to So anyway, you can see most of the, which is a very good sign. You can see this dull gray. I guess I'll grab a file hanging on. And I'm not a fan of the leaf leaf shaped blade, but yeah, it's all right. I screwed up the second one. I made two just like this one without and one with the tape of tang. And uh, when I was drilling holes in the handle with the one without to lighten it, because good God, it was heavy. I was pushing a little bit hard on the drill press and uh, it kind of corkscrewed out and slammed into my stop. And bent the holy shit out of it, the belly of the blade because well, it wasn't hard and so it just kind of screwed it all up and uh, I ended up doing a, well, it, it, I like it better, way better. There's a, this is the next map I'm going to pull out, but it's got a, uh, it's like a drop point hunter with a nice front belly and then a, a S curve to it and a big burly handle, which I'm allowed to make the, make the handle as small as possible so it just fits perfect in the hand, but I got a lot of customers that are huge for the hands and I'm like, oh, I wish the handle was bigger. I'm like, yeah, well, I wish my hip was bigger too, but shit in the pot and then I always fill it up quicker. That makes no goddamn sense. I don't want to say it, I promise. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. It's still right there, but I think we're good. Uh, 
Let's see. So and this is the uh, tapered tang one. There you go. Oof, it's still pretty warm. I mean, you can grab it, but you don't want to hang on to her for very long. Uh, so there's that and the jimping I did. Anyway, next. Oh wow, that jumped it way up to 158. Nope. I'm dyslexic. <laughs> uh, 146.9, it was 146.8 before, but. thinking about well here's the knife and haha -ha, it's a little on the warm side you know because the oil is 150 degrees anyway. oh, oh, boom, it's cooling down Finished this whole thing, and I'm pretending like I know how to run that bitch. I don't even close, but I promise the destructions they give you are horrific. They work great if you're trying to fire ceramics, because that's kind of what they. Well, you know, more customers. <sighs> but uh, with the argon injection and the solenoid, to turn that on, it's the fan option. And they don't tell you that. So. It pisses me off. So hopefully I can save you from being pissed off if you buy one of these. So, so far, so good. Again, here's, it's hot some bitch. Still about 150 degrees, 130 probably, but grill the shit out of it, because it's a, a quarter inch, and that's ridiculous, right? And it's got ready to get this to taper. And then it's sister knife. I did the tapered tang. This one is right up in your face. Where's the hole? Where's the camera hole? Oh, there you go. Oh, yeah. Anyway, throw this in the temper and oven. And uh, see y'all later.